Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. I figured since I set up the camera here, I wanted to go ahead and show some of these. There's been a lot of stuff come in over the past couple weeks that I have yet to show. This particular one is going to be covering just basically some generic hole fillers. Um, ah, there's nothing in here that's super new. These are just some things I've recently received or picked up either online or locally. Again, just some hole fillers, but some great stuff that you know you you grab them that they've come out and they maybe are around for a little while a couple years and then they disappear so it's like you forget about them but then you see them you're like you better grab it because this one's been out for a couple years and once it's gone you know the prices are going to jack themselves up wasp double live assassins this was at a local store i have seen it there for a couple years probably or you know a while and I thought when I was there this weekend, I better grab this because the price is online. It's like on Amazon, it's either not available or it's ex getting expensive, like in the $50 range, it seems like. And so his price was a decent price. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And again, it's a double live album for Wasp. has Chris Holmes on guitar. This would have been the, uh, what was this tour? The KFD tour? Yeah, 1997 KFD tour. I remember buying this on CD back when it came out and around in the in the late 90s because I remember seeing it uh, we were living in New York at the time and I remember buying that I still have the CD so this is one of the mad fish reissues oh this is actually let me see I think it's just black yeah it's just on black it's double record set um, gatefold I won't show all of that it's just got pictures of the band inside but great stuff I'm a big wasp fan um, another one at the same store is the second Chickenfoot album, even though it's called Three. The second album by Chickenfoot, which if you're not familiar with Chickenfoot, because they're not around anymore, they put out, what, two albums and a live album. Sammy Hagar, Joe Satriani, Michael Anthony from Van Halen, and Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They did a couple great albums. And this album has, just like what I, the Wasp one, has been at this local store for a couple years. I keep passing it up. I keep passing it up. The thing that's, I'm looking at it, and it's barely, it's like $23. And I'm like, this guy raises his prices and lowers his price. The, the, the prices fluctuate um, on stuff in his store. But this album never changed. And it, I'm like, why is nobody buying that? That is like really cheap for, you know, an album, a brand new album of this sense. This is not a reissue. This is, you know, just the, the initial issue. It's been out for a couple years. So I had to grab it. I'm just like, I had to grab it. Um, it's really neat because like the CD, it's got all this 3D artwork. It's got the red and blue glasses in here. And honestly, I don't recall when I got the CD if I tinkered with that much. It's on red. But when I got in the car and was checking it out, I was amazed at how cool the red and blue 3D, you know, looked on this album. So it was, it was more 3D than I really anticipated it would be for the old uh, red and blue. Now this is also um, one of the reissues, the Sanctuary, I think Sanctuary Records has reissued a lot of the Bruce Dickinson stuff. Yeah, Sanctuary Records has reissued a lot of the stuff by Bruce Dickinson, and I want to get it. Um, the prices are not outrageous. This one seems like when I see it is kind of expensive, but I found somebody online who was selling it for a really reasonable amount. And they've been, you know, they've reissued all of his solo albums, and my local store, I believe, has Skunk Works, uh, but the other ones I see online, and, you know, they're not too terribly expensive. They're in the, you know, upper 20s to low 30 range. This is a double record set. And if you're not familiar with Bruce Dickinson's solo stuff, it's great. I mean, it's different from Iron Maiden. It's kind of straightforward hard rock with metallic uh, borders on it. And uh, anyway, yeah, this is, I love this album. Uh, some of his albums are, I like more than others. And this is one of the ones that I really like. So I saw that when I was getting something else and I said, I better grab that. Cause again, these things are not gonna be around forever. A used record that was at the store, Vinnie Moore's Mind's Eye. I bought this album back in the day when it came out. Love this album. Love Vinnie Moore. And he had this for $8. And it was in excellent condition. Excellent. Silver shrapnel level label. Um, guitar shredding. Just this, I think, was one of the first instrumental guitar shredder albums that I got back in the day. This and Tony McAlpine, Maximum Security, and I think Dave, David Chastain were like the first three and only three for the longest time that I listened to. Absolutely love this album. Who was it? This has got uh, 
This got Tommy Aldridge on drums, which is one of the reasons that I was really drawn to it. Uh, and Tony McAlpine on keyboards. So, and he's an amazing keyboard player and guitar player. So, yeah, uh, I, I really, you know, I bought it because I was a huge Tommy Aldridge fan and, you know, probably didn't know a whole lot about Vinnie Moore. Of course, he later, he's done quite a few instrumental Shredder albums and he's currently the guitar player for UFO. Great stuff, great stuff. And so, yeah, that's just some of the recent stuff that's just, you know, whole fillers, things that I wanted to grab before they were disappear and you get them for expensive prices. Now I need to track down some of the other Bruce Dickinson stuff and uh, and go from there. So that's it for this video, though. Thanks a lot for watching again. I'll be back. Rock on and rock hard.